as more people pack into the inland northwest. Local law enforcement agencies say they don't have enough cops to respond to the increase of calls, including a murder Monday night in Hauser, Idaho. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. Nia Wong has the night off. They also say recruiting hasn't been easy. Home prices are so high, new deputies can't afford to move to the area, especially in North Idaho, where small towns like Hauser are growing every day. Vanessa Perez is live in Coeur d'Alene with what the Kootenai County Sheriff says needs to change to help increase the number of cops in that area. Vanessa. The Monday night murder was the last straw for the sheriff as he addressed the increase in crime his department has been dealing with over the last two years. He's also having difficulties hiring more deputies. Some of that is blamed on the housing market here. The sheriff's problems are just a part of the bigger problem here in Kootenai County. The price tag on this fixer upper in Coeur d'Alene, $650,000. Realtors say they saw a boom in the housing market starting last year. I think our lack of restrictions really kind of made us shine and a lot of people were coming here and so of course demand gets crazy and a lot of those out of town uh, buyers were selling homes in much more expensive areas and coming here with cash. That's continuing but with fewer sales and listings this year. Allen says there's been a discussion about how to fix the problem of affordability. In the years that we've been talking about affordable housing, it's run away from us. So I feel like we've got to do something here in the next couple of years to at least get moving. The median home sale price is above half a million now. A new study from the University of Idaho said 75% of Kootenai County residents used to be able to afford a median priced home. Now the number is down to 25%. Affordability is also causing problems at the sheriff's office. We need to improve the wages here in Kootenai County. We need to improve them to a point where I can attract talent from other industries that already have housing and live here in Kootenai County to the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office. As a result, Sheriff Norris says deputies are having to fill in places they normally wouldn't, like the dispatch center and the jail. We are growing at such a rapid pace here that uh, Growth and crime has caught up to Kootenai County, and uh, we need to adequately address those concerns. As the sheriff's office deals with how to hire more deputies and retain them, homes like this become more expensive. We did ask the sheriff if the county is going to consider a levy. He says he doesn't think a levy is necessary, but that the county should redistribute funds to help his department. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene tonight, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.